Hello, good evening. How are you doing? I hope you are good this evening and by the love of God you're doing great. I thank God for giving me this time of night. Don't worry if you're sleeping and you wake up and you find this, it's for you. For me, I cannot go to sleep without doing this because it's what I like to do and it's what I love doing. And I don't like if I go to sleep, I think I can wake up at night if I don't do this. So that's why I always have to do this and I'll do it for the rest of my life. I promise I will make time to do this because I'm born again Christian. I love God as my personal savior. He saved me when I was lost. He saved me when I was nobody, when I had no choice. I have no way to go. And he found me when I was nobody. I thank God for that. I can always be grateful for what God has done. It's a great thing to come back and see what God has done. You know, you don't have to feel sorry for yourself because you have not seen things happening the way you want them to be. But don't give up. That's what I'm telling you this evening, whatever you want. For me, it's evening. For you, it's maybe the daytime. It's be night already. You wake up and see this and you find this any day, any time. It's for you, this one. As you listen, keep your ears. Hear what I'm saying. Let the word of God come into you and let you be guided by what I'm going to say today. Maybe you have come across this. I don't know. You have gone about. Many people have told the same thing I'm saying and you're wondering why this one saying the same thing we hear over and over again. It's because we want you to get in and understand and stick to that word, you know. And that is what we're going to talk about today. For a few minutes to come, I gonna. I'm not going to take more time of you. I'm gonna go straight to the point. Let be positive, you know. Let keep positive in whatever we are doing. Let's not have a negative thoughts of this will go wrong or this will not work or it's not gonna happen what I want to happen. You know, in in the situation we have, we should not have a negative thought. Let keep believing and that God is going to do something. No matter that we don't have, we have not seen it. Let's keep believing because God keeps his word. He never fails. He never fails. When he promised to do something, he has to do it. But what I don't know is the time and the hour. Nobody knows. I cannot tell you I know. I cannot tell you I know the time. But all I know is that God will do it for me as he promised. So I'm going to read you some verses from Bible. And this is what I can encourage you with this time of hour and whatever you are. And you come across this. This is what I can give you to give you comfort. And to give you strength. And to give you hope that you don't give up. And have that positive positive thinking in your mind no matter what so i'm gonna read in um, philippians chapter 4 verse 8 and it says finally brothers whatever is true whatever is honorable whatever is just whatever is pure whatever is lovely whatever is commendable if there is any excellence if there is anything worthy of praise think about these things Praise God. I don't want anything about that. And I'm going to read again Matthew chapter 15. Matthew chapter 15, verse 11. Verse 11. Matthew chapter 15, verse 11. And I'll read for you. I'll read verse 11. Um, I'll read verse 11 and it says it is not what goes into a mouth that defiles a person but what comes out of a mouth this defiles a person so watch out what you say sometimes you know I, I, I know my child people sometimes 
Please don't say things you don't wish to happen to your life. Please don't say things you don't want to rest in your life. Don't do this. Don't say that. Because people say things they don't know they, they are acting or they are cursing themselves. Whatever you say in your life. If you say this will never be mine. Or if you say I never go this place. Oh, I will never get this place. Oh, I will never do this place. Let me tell you. God has our power to take you that place you don't want to reach. God has all power to bless you with that miracle you want. God has all power. Just watch what you say with your mouth. Watch what your tongue brings out. Because sometimes it may be a curse. It may be something to make you be stuck in the same place. So watch out what you say with your mouth. Because that is so dangerous. It can stay with your life. It can stay for a long time. And you don't want that to happen. So I'm, I'm telling you. Stop saying things. You don't wish them to be lasting long in your life. I'm going to read another verse. I'm going to read Romans chapter 8 verse 28 to that one. And I hope you are listening. 28 to that one. And, and we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good. For those who called according to his purpose. For, for those who, if one knew, he also prepared. Destined to be conformed, conformed to the image of his son, in order that he might be firstborn among many brothers. And those who he predestined, he also called. And those who he is called, he also justified. And those who he has justified, he has also glorified. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us. Who can be against us? Nothing. Not even any disease. Not even any anything behold can be against us. That is the word I'm giving it to you. To be positive. Be positive in whatever you're thinking. Be positive in what you are dreaming about. Be positive on what you are praying about. I'm doing this, telling myself and also telling him because we are in this journey together. We are in this journey together. You know, for me, I'm not disappointed. You know, if I see this is not happening this month, I know next month it will happen. As long as I'm living, I don't give up. Okay? I don't give up. And that's why I was telling you because somebody out there, is wondering and is looking for answers, you know, and they don't have found it yet. I'm here to tell you because we are in the same journey together. And this is journey is following the right footstep, which we have to follow so that God can hear our prayer. Don't just talk to people who are just murmuring things and they're not teaching you what you should do, you know. Just listen. Action speaks louder than words okay let me read you another verse from bible and it must be um four verbs i'm gonna read four verbs <sighs> four verbs four verbs no i'm just looking for corinthians here and then i look for proverbs because i know proverbs is here proverbs four four verse 23 Proverbs 4, verse 23. Proverbs 4, verse 23. And it says, Keep your heart with all vigilance, for those it throws to the spring of life. And I can also read verse 24. It says, Put away from you crooked speech and put devious talk far from you let your high look directly forward and you guess be straight before you powder the fat of your feet then all your ways will be sure do not swerve to the right or to the right to the left or to the right to the right to the left turn your foot away from evil so you'll be blessed
bless the name of God. I'm going to read 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. 31. And it says, So whatever you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. Praise God. I'm doing this. Not because I want you to see me. I don't want you to see me. Just listen. Close your eyes. Close your phone. Just listen to the voice. Just don't watch me. You don't have to watch me. Just listen to the one I'm telling you. It will give you hope. It will give you future. And it will give you what you seek for in life. You know? And that is internal life. Okay? I'm going to read Two more, and I'm gonna pray. I'm gonna do two more, and I'm gonna pray. John. Two more, and we have finished two for tonight. Twenty-seven, Psalms twenty-seven, verse thirteen. Twenty-seven, verse thirteen, and. It says, I believe that I shall look upon corners of the Lord in the land of Raven. And chapter four, verse 14 says, Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart be courage. Wait for the Lord. Hmm. I read the last one for today. John chapter 14, verse 27. And it says, Peace I live with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world give you to you. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let them be afraid. That is what I leave you today. Do not be troubled. Do not let your heart be afraid. Believe in God and believe in Jesus. And everything you want will be come through it will come to happen i don't know how i don't gonna tell you how pray and the holy spirit will guide you and you'll find out i will get that situation i will get to that answer you want how your prayer will be answered you know we are in the same journey together and i want to teach you and i want to teach myself we are in this journey teaching each other because this is the word of god we find every good new new things every each and every day. I don't go, I don't gonna lie to you that I know the Bible more than anyone. I find out what I tell you and also I I teach myself and same as we do. This is what God has given us. The Holy Spirit to guide us and to teach us how to teach others because this is the greatest gift you can get. This is the present i giving to you listen if you don't understand repeat same each and every time no if you read and you know if you're watching you have not understood go back from the start watch again don't want don't want quick things which go at last you know because people go for things which are funny eh? you don't want to listen to the word of god let me tell you you look for something and you don't fight it because don't have time for God. You don't have to listen. You don't have time to go for this for 13 minutes because you want something which you can waste your time watching for five minutes and that's it. But you forget that this is the last thing. This is something you get and you don't gonna miss it. It's gonna teach you something. Watch out. Listen. God is talking to you. God is rewarding you for listening. Let God bless you. And it's for the fire you have come. If you've been watching until this point, let me tell you, you'll be blessed abundantly and you won't believe it until you see it. And like we say, faith is believing and seeing things. It's like the miracle we believe for things that no human being can do there. And that is what I'm here for, praying the same as you for this miracle so that God can do it for us and we can be grateful and thank him and praise him and jump and sing a new song that God has done it for us. Don't give up. Be positive. Think positively. 
apostle mind whatever you speak is your mouth speak blessing speak miracles receive answers and say i've got it i've got it i have it in jesus mighty name let's claim that miracle and we will find it in jesus mighty name let's pray and let's hope god is gonna do it for us and let's pray and believe that everything will work according to God's prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, for this wonderful evening you've given to us. Thank you, Father, for giving me these answers that I'm seeking for, that I be positive, I be waiting on you, my Father, that whatever we pray with positive mind, with positive thinking, that we're going to receive it in Jesus' name. My Father, I pray for that miracle that to change someone's life, my Lord. I know I have received it. Even if I have not seen it, I know I have it with my hand. The blessing I have it with my heart, I'm going to blow it with fire, your mighty name. I'm going to praise your wonderful name. I'm going to receive that miracle. And I'm going to testify the wonderful days of your word. Thank you, Jesus, because I'm not going to put to shame. I'm going to be uh, balanced. I'm not going to be put to hold that Jesus, what this is happening. My Father is going to praise you for revealing yourself to myself. And making it known to the people that Jesus is still the rule of this kingdom. Oh, Father, I glorify your mighty name. I give you praise. I give you honor. I give you all the mighty ones I ever know. Jesus, you are glorious. Jesus, you are magnificent. Jesus, you are all I need. Jesus, you know I found. Jesus, you know I have. Oh, Jesus, reveal yourself to us. Oh, Jesus, reveal your mighty power to us. Oh, Jehovah God. Jesus, you are the king. Jesus, you, the, you sit on the right throne of the God. You sit on the right side. Oh, Jesus, let you make it happen. Let you make it happen. Oh, Jesus, I I praise your wonderful name. You says, my father, in the Bible, pray, pray in my name, and you shall receive what you are asking for. Jesus, I receive the miracle. Jesus, I receive the miracle. Jesus, in my mighty name of Jesus, I receive this miracle. Father, somebody may be watching this at this, this point. They are asking you for a miracle that will change their life too. Jesus, do it for them, my Father, so that they can glorify your name and say, Hallelujah, they have seen and they received it by the power of the living God. Jesus, I thank you again. Thank you for the miracle. Thank you for me hearing my prayer. Thank you for making me go this far. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray and believe. Amen. Now, for the watch in heaven, I will be in the name of the kingdom come. The will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our day bread and forgive those that trespass us. I say, forgive those who trespass against us. Deal at temptation, but deliver us from evil, for the power and kingdom are yours forever and ever. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray and believe. Amen. Be blessed and have a wonderful evening. See you tomorrow.